Here we are, back in Tomogamy. The fall colors are, I would say, almost at their peak right now. The forecast for the next week is looking real good. Fishing, paddling, exploring, scouting for some possible winter camping spots. Here we go. getting there. We only have another maybe couple kilometers before we can, well I shouldn't say before we can camp, we can camp, but my goal is to make it another couple kilometers today. But I keep forgetting how early it, uh, it gets dark now. I'm, I'm still not used to it. I'm used to the summer where it's light forever and ever and ever. We spent most of the, well a good chunk anyways of our summer up in the Yukon and it never gets dark there, well, depending on where you are, but even even in the southern uh, part of the Yukon, it's it's still, it's just like a really long dusk almost. It never really gets dark, dark, you know, you can see the entire time, so you can paddle whenever you want. But right now, in October, in Tomogamy, days are fairly short. I think the sun sets now around 7 o'clock, maybe even before 7. So we'll have to find something fairly soon here.
That's pretty good, Betty Lou. Yeah. No, you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, that's a little close for comfort, kiddo. Yeah. You're pushing the boundaries. Back up. Back. Lay down. Lay down. All the way. Good girl. Oh, so really good day today. It uh, has completely opened up right now. So maybe we'll try and do some uh, astral photography tonight. Get some pictures of the stars. I don't know. I don't see the moon anywhere, so that's probably a good sign. The stars should be nice and bright. Probably get a little fire going too. I was just while this was uh, cooking, I just grabbed a little bit of firewood. So I don't think we're gonna have a hard time starting a fire here. And I just made a little tiny fire pit down on the granite down there. So it's the best time of year right now. No bugs, anybody? Hey, Although we have seen a few mosquitoes here. But I'm not going to complain about that. A few bugs, a couple black flies even. But so nice. So nice. Okay. Yes, you're a good girl. Okay. You're a good pup. Except you shouldn't be here right now while I'm eating. No. Lay down. Another absolutely beautiful day here. The water's just like a sheet of glass, it's just like a mirror, which should be perfect because we've got a fairly big lake to go across here. 
I think we only got maybe a couple portages to do. But man, oh man. Awesome. That campsite, it wasn't, I shouldn't call it a campsite, it's just a piece of land. Where I camped last night was, it wasn't the, uh, maybe the best spot to camp, but man, was it ever comfortable to sleep. That moss, it must have been, honestly, six, eight, ten inches thick in some spots, so just like sleeping on a big cloud. And it was kind of all lumpy, but it just, it, it was like a Tempur-Pedic mattress. Just conformed right to your body shape. Lou was snoring all night, which was nice. Hey, you were obviously comfortable, buddy. Amazing. I was waiting in the undertow. Set a drift and fed away like bones. Unaware of where my heart would flow. I was waiting in the undertow. Can't touch the bottom. Sit into a tumble Waves that shake me out Out of my skin Never been so easy Losing my direction My bearings have me south of home I've been wrong before I was waiting in the undertow Set a drift with fed away light bones Unaware of where my heart Beaver Dam over with. I don't know if it showed. I have no idea whether it showed up or not, but there was a great big heron that was kind of fishing right where, right at the mouth of that beaver dam, right where all the water was funneling through. Oh, shallow, buddy. That's, that's cool. It, uh, it just kept kind of following this heron down this little creek here and then he, I just watched him fly back to exactly where he, he was before. So sometimes I've, I've literally followed them for kilometers down uh, creeks and rivers. They just keep going a couple hundred meters in front of you. But this guy, I kind of pulled off to the side and he actually, he went right back. So that's cool.
just finished a, a little lift over there. It was just kind of an up and over, just basically just another uh, beaver lodge or beaver dam. And uh, anyways, kind of cool. I was just looking down into the water. I've been seeing lots of bass swimming around in this creek here. And then all of a sudden I saw this huge, what I thought was a fish for a second. I was, I was scrambling to get my uh, fishing rod. I was going to cast in. I thought it was maybe a monster pike or something, but it was a, a beaver. I swam, swam right underneath my boat, watched them swim right underneath my boat. So that was cool. I've never, I've never uh, seen a beaver swim right underneath me before. I've had loons go underneath me, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, beaver, holy. lake is incredible. It's just absolutely placid right now. Holy. And the leaves here are amazing.
Awesome. We are on the lake that I was uh, hoping to get to today, so that's perfect. I think they're, uh, well, I'm, I'm hoping to get across this lake. It's not very big, maybe a couple kilometers. So we'll paddle to the end of this lake here and we'll see if we can find a spot to camp for the night. But that should be it for a little portage. Today was actually a super easy day for portaging and stuff. And even the paddle across the big water there was was nice, it was beautiful with the calm, calm, calm breeze. The odd time you'd get a little gust, but man, that's perfect. how good this is, don't you? Caught to where I was hoping to get to. Beautiful scenery, amazing colors, placid water. This site is gorgeous. Oh, can I drop one, buddy? Thank you. 
back on the water again and it's just another spectacular day out here holy he's actually supposed to be at work this week but when i looked at the forecast and saw it was going to be this nice i can't work when it's like that my mind's just not there so this is perfect this is way better than work Hello.
Okay, we are on the destination lake here for the day. This one might be the nicest one of the trip. I actually, I'm gonna say this is the nicest one. The, the last lake was actually really beautiful too. The water here is just like crystal clear, almost turquoise. for dinner, Lou. We're gonna have a big dinner tonight. This is meant for two people. We're doing it as a one person meal. Oh yeah, baby. Lied. I thought it was a soup. It was actually, um, I think this is Three Sisters stew that Ashley makes. It's got a couple kinds of beans, rice, and uh, pasta noodles. So this is <laughs> this is a lot of food. There's corn, zucchini, I think, maybe. What else? We got peppers in there. I don't know. It's bloody good though. This is a new one that I actually made up just for the summer. This one's excellent. Might be one of my favorite. Well, maybe it's my favorite. Too many favorites.
something like cold oatmeal to start the day, Lou. Okay. A few years ago, we were up in, uh, where were we, Yukon, or I know we were in Alaska. We were in Alaska, and we ran into these two amazing people, um, Kenneth and Marie, they're from Denmark, and they were on a two-year bike packing trip from Argentina to, uh, I think their end goal was kind of like Alaska. They ended up going to the Arctic Ocean in um, Tuk Tuk Tuk. They, they rode their bikes all the way from, <laughs> from Argentina to uh, the Beaufort Sea. So, anyways, two, two amazing people, super cool. We hung out with them for a few nights and they're, they're awesome. But uh, they got us, I remember they asked if, if we ate our oatmeal cold. I remember thinking, no, like we, we heat the water up every time. We're not, uh, we're not that extreme. But they, they, they told us that they had a cold and they said it wasn't bad. We had the breakfast with them one morning. And so now, ever since that, that uh, meeting, we've pretty much had our oatmeal cold since. It saves fuel, saves time. Um, and honestly, I kind of like it more. Okay, video evidence, we didn't get skunked. Little bass. Back on the water. Another unbelievable day. It's so foggy and misty. It's only been in the last maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes, that it's kind of burnt right off. So, Just doing a little bit of fishing there while I was waiting for the fog to lift so I could actually see where I was paddling. And I did end up catching a few bass there. Back up. We got a fish on here. Doesn't feel very big. Oh, nice. That's the uh. Such a decent smallmouth. Steady enough. Yeah, it's not a bad little fish. Let him go. See you, brother.
One more portage. See, this is another successful little tour here. If you guys like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. And what else am I supposed to say here? Oh, if you haven't turned your notifications on, why don't you go ahead and do that? Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Tomogamy is just, it's really a pretty incredible spot. And we'll be back here, back here a lot, I think. It's kind of growing on me. It may be my new, uh, well, it's not too far, right? And it's, it's pretty damn nice. So anyways, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks very much for watching guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. What's Don Cherry always say? Keep your stick on the ice. Who's that? Who says that? Keep a paddle on the water. Is that what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't even know what's going on anymore.